hello friends today we are going to configure telnet in cisco packet tracer so at first what is a telnet telnet is an application layer protocol which is used to access remote desktop that means if we have a computer over if we have a router over the second floor and if we sit uh, here in the ground floor then uh, without moving here we can configure our router from ground floor and router, let us suppose that router is in second floor so this is the application layer protocol that is used to access remote desktop so let's see how it goes so we have two different network this is 192.168.1.0 network and this is 192.168.2.1 network so this is our one network this is our other network so let us configure the interfaces of router 1 go into CLI command line interface and enable config t now interface fa tab 0 slash 0 this one 0 slash 0 enter ip address 192.168.1.1 so uh, we are going to configure the ip address of this interface so click the ip address which we have already manually assigned here otherwise we can say that we can give uh, we have given here a note about it mm, and its subnet marks default subnet marks as it is a classy network then no shutdown which will enable that interface now again move on to interface 0 slash 1 for that we have to exit now again interface first 0 slash 1 ip address 192.168.2.1 which is the ip address of this interface and it submit marks now again no shutdown now let let us put the ip address into this host also Next up, IP configuration will give a static IP here for the convenience 1.2. As I have already mentioned it, it has 1.2. Let's copy it. So it must by default and gateway is 1.1, which is this interface. Do same for this PC. one dot three and again one dot one for this network for this network we have set up one and two dot one six eight dot two dot two two dot two and the default gateway is 2.1 as you can see here a 2.3 default gateway 2.1 as both are in same network and pinging this to host will give you a reply. Let us see IP config which will show the IP address in this PC which is 192.168.1.2 and here 192.168.1.3. Now let us ping each other 192.168.1.3. 
as we are getting the reply now let us ping the device in another network ping space 192.168.2.2 which is the IP address of this computer at first it will time out then again it will give the reply now next time on it will give the 100 percent reply which is which has a cause which we will discuss later as both are in different network but both are communicating because these are in within the same interface of the which are in different interface but of same router so for the telnet configuration we have to write few line codes which are enable password any password you can write let us suppose one two three this is for the global config password and line vty these are the number of host we can which can access the remote desktop using telnet let us suppose we have two devices 0 comma 1 means two devices 0 comma 2 means 3 0 comma 3 means 4 and so on let us suppose 0 comma 3 which means that which means that four computers can access remote desktop using telnet now let us set up password for telnet this is the password for global config and this is the password for telnet let us suppose the password is asd now click login now it will now this is the configuration of telnet now check for the telnet you can also use another pc we have just set up here in command line interface of router but in real world we will do this by using another pc over here using console port sorry console cable rs232 to console the auxiliary is used for remote connection same thing you can do over here next up terminal this is using party software same thing you can do here the command line interface we have seen over here in router and the command line interface we have seen over here both are same so now let us try to access this router from this network now go on to command prompt type telnet space and the interface of your router 192.168.1.1 it will ask for a password what was our password ASD and if you type wrong password then uh, it will be displaying this password password again and again now go on to global config mode it will again type the password let us suppose I will uh, type the wrong password it will uh, continuously show on this password and password now go on to again go on to global config mode now type real password 1 2 3 now we are into the config mode <coughs> now configure terminal from here we can configure this router now again let's check for this network command prompt what is the gateway sorry what is the interface of this router 192.168.2.1 telnet 
2.2.1 now what was the password ASD but let us type another one so you can see it continuously shows password now let's try for our real password ASD now type enable again it will show by password 1 2 3 so configure terminal will uh, move your router into a different configuration mode so in this way we can configure the router at remote location from the host from another location with the help of telnet so this much for today thank you